Hi, my name is Luis Benitez and I'm one of the product managers in the IBM social software team. And today I want to give you a demo of the new iPad app that was just released to the iTunes App Store. So the iPad app, you see it right here, it's right on my screen. I'm going to click on that app and then it's going to take me to the launch screen of, uh, of the application. And so after a couple of seconds, it's going to log me in automatically. So that's one of the benefits of having a native app directly on your iPad is that it remembers your credentials and it automatically logs you into the system without further input from the end user. Now, when I launch the app, I can take a peek at the latest activity stream and see what people are talking about and perhaps see the, the latest entries in the microblogging section. I'm going to click into uh, Profiles here and just show you what that looks like. Um, I'm currently looking at my own profile. I can, of course, search for other people. I can look at my network, look at the invitations that I have pending. But what I wanted to show you is the capability to upload a picture. So I'm going to click on the camera icon here. And notice that I can now see a couple of uh, options here. Now notice that this is being done on, on an iPad 1, so I do not have a camera on my iPad. If I had a camera, I would have the option to directly upload a picture into my profile. So I'm just going to click on my photo stream here, and then I'm going to pick uh, the picture of my daughter, so I can just upload that. And now I'm going to be uploading this as my profile picture. So very quickly, very easily, you'll be able to change your profile picture. I'm going to click on choose here and let that upload for a couple of seconds. And then once that uploads, I can now see my new picture show up there. There you go. All right. So now let me uh, go back here, click on uh, connections to go back, and I'm going to now click on communities. So in communities, when I go, I can quickly take a peek as, as to specifically what is happening within all the communities that I subscribe within connections. I can see which ideas are being discussed in the particular ideation section. I could see which blogs are being written. Uh, perhaps I can see which comments are being recommended or voted upon and so forth. So I can quickly digest, very easily see what's going on across all of my communities. Speaking of my communities, let me click on my communities here. And that's going to take a couple of seconds to load. And once that loads, I now have a quick view of all the communities that I'm a member of, whether they're public, whether they're private, or whether they are um, moderated. Now, I have selected here one of the uh, communities on the left, and you can see that now I can now see the activity stream is specific for this particular community. So it's just a feed of all the events, um, all the pictures that are being uploaded, all the movies that are being uploaded to the to the media gallery of the of the community. I could see all the files that are being uploaded. So everything that's happening within the community is uh, is quick, quickly displayed for me. All right. So let me go back to uh, the update section here and then go back. And I want to show you files because files is one of my favorite uh, capabilities within Connections. And again, when I go to files, I can see the latest updates and see you know who's sharing files with whom, etc. I'm going to uh, click on my files here, and so that's going to take a couple of seconds to load. And then once it loads, I can now see all of my particular files. Notice that I have a couple options here. I can see uh, the about section for the file, so I can see the description, name. I can see how many comments it has, how many downloads it has, etc. I can even see who has downloaded this particular file. Now, if I wanted to see the actual comments, I would just go here and look at the comments, and I could even see who has shared this file forward, which is very, very cool. And I can revert back to previous versions if I wanted to. Now, if I want, if I go back to the to the actions menu on the right, I can take a, a actions such as download the file, which is very helpful. You know, say that you're going to a customer meeting and you want to do a presentation and you perhaps forgot the presentation, you can just quickly pull it up from your iPad, download it, and then present it directly from your iPad. You could share this, you could add it to a folder, uh, recommend it, edit the properties, or even just move it to the trash if the file is no longer applicable. So I'm going to click on download here, it's going to take a couple of seconds, and once it downloads, it gives me a couple of options. I can open the file using the native file preview capabilities that the iPad provides, or I can open it in file app, which is just another uh, file viewer that I have installed on my iPad. Or I can look at more options. So let me click on this option here. And notice that I can 
take the file that I downloaded from Connections and put it directly on Dropbox if I wanted to, or in Evernote, or any other files, any of the apps that take files as, as inputs. I could even share it with another iPad by just moving it to this Mover Lite application. So very, very cool. Alright, so let me go back to the home screen here. And I'm going to open my mail. I want to show you something very cool here. So I'm going to click on mail. I'm going to click on this email. I'm going to click on the attachment here so it downloads. And once I have the attachment, I'm going to click on it. And again, notice that I have a couple options here. I can open the attachment in Evernote. Or I have a couple more. So I'm going to click on open in. And now notice that Connections is an app that I can send files to. So this is very, very cool because say that I got this email with a new pricing summary for customers I want, I, and I want to quickly socialize that file with my team or my community, I could click on Connections here and it's going to launch the app and it's going to let me upload the file. So I'm going to enter a couple of tags just so that it looks uh, good here. So, And then I'm going to click Upload. And that's going to take a couple of seconds too. And once it uploads, it's going to take me to the screen. Notice that it says it uploaded. And there you have it. So now I have my file that I uploaded. It, I didn't share, share it with anybody, but I do have the option to do that. I just go again into the actions menu here and share the file. You could edit the description, add more tags to it, etc. So very straightforward. So that's it. That's a quick demo of the iPad app. Of course, I didn't get to show you all the capabilities, but hopefully a good introduction as to some of the things that you can do now natively from your iPad. So again, my name is Luis Benitez, and if you want to learn more, go out to lbenitez.com. Thanks.